Welcome to the key value field tutorial. Key value fields provide a great way to add additional non-structured information to your content. This information is handled using key value pairs and they get stored in the content as a map that you can then very easily display on a widget on, on a page. There are many uses for this new field. It allows you to easily create a table of features specific to each piece of content. Let me show you how it works. For instance, we have a detailed page for a product on this site where some of the information is very structured, such as the title, model number, SQ number, information about overview, some of the product features. But when it comes to specifications, for instance, you can see here we have a table of features that this information is going to be different for each of your different products. In this case we have information for, uh, for a laptop and here we have specifications for a TV. How do we do this in that CMS? We now have the key value field that allows us to create this type of content. What we did here then is we created a structure product with some structure fields such as title, list price, model, SQ number, and overview. And then we added a specifications field with the new key value type. When you're gonna when you go and add a new field, now you have the new display type called key value. So that's how we added our field. This field is just another field in that CMS. It gets saved on your structure and then can be pulled on the page. If we go now to the content, we'll see we created these two pieces of content with the same information we got on these two pages. And you can see if I clicked on, on the MacBook here that we have product weight, processor brand, the processor, processor speed, and display type. And all of these fields are coming from this table. Now if I click back and I go into the TV, you'll see the TV has different specifications here. I'm also able to add new specifications here. Let's say we want to do the USB port. Yes. And we want to do this USB input. Yes. We're now going to save that and when we come back to our content we can see our two new specifications have been added. You can also of course from here delete any that you don't want there anymore. On the listing page we have a widget where we added code to pull all our products using the key value fields. What we're doing now here is that we have a content pool, we're pulling our products, and then we're displaying the structure information such as title, model, SQ, and list price. But we're also taking the specifications and we're printing the key and value for each of them. The specifications are saved as a map. So what we're doing here is that we're taking that value and we're doing a for each on each of them. And then we're printing for that the key and the value. In this case we're checking to make sure that we're not printing the keys because the keys is one of the values that we're going to get on that map. Once we display the key and value then we can go and see how that looks on the page. Here we're doing the structure fields such as model, SQ number, price and title and then here we're, we're displaying all of our specifications for each of the different products. As you can see these are different here as they are on the second product. For more helpful videos visit our resources section on the .cms website. From all of us at .cms, thanks for watching.